Okay, so are you pretty good at making quick mental math calculations? Well, if you are, then this should be an easy problem. And the only rule here is no calculators, no pencils, no paper. You're going to do this entire thing in your head. But a lot of people are not going to be able to do this because I don't think they're going to focus hard enough. So don't give up so quick. But here is the problem. 200% of one third is equal to what? All right, so again, uh, the only rule here is no materials, no paper, no pencil, no calculators. And if you have your answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm gonna show you two possible ways you can solve this problem very easily in your brain. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 200% of one third, what is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is two thirds. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a math whiz and you can do many of these basic calculations in your super powerful uh, brain. Now, they may not be that impressed, but uh, you know what? You should feel proud of yourself that you understand how to do this problem because it tells me you understand something about percent. And uh, certainly, if there's any one math topic that you need to understand, that is percent as it's just so important in terms of practical mathematics. But uh, let's go ahead and get into how we can solve this problem. Now, if you don't remember how to find a percent of a number, We'll just kind of walk through a quick um, review of that. So let's suppose you did have a calculator and we wanted to find 200% of one third. So how do you find uh, the percent of a number? Matter of fact, let's do a, another example here. And uh, let's suppose, because I just don't want to uh, use our example right away. So I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Let's suppose uh, you wanted to find 7% uh, of 92. So how do you find 7% of 92? So a lot of you could be like, oh, yes, I know how to do that problem. And indeed, you probably do, because what you're going to do is you're going to uh, change that percent to a decimal. OK, and so in this problem, we're going to have to change this 200 percent to a decimal. And then we're going to multiply the decimal equivalent of the percent times the number one third. So in this particular example, we would need to uh, change this 7 percent to the decimal equivalent which of course is 0 0.07, and then we just multiply it by 92. And if we have our uh, calculators, that is pretty easy to uh, solve. Now, most of you, I hope, are like, yes, indeed, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know how to do this. But again, we're trying to do this uh, problem in our brain. So no calculators, but I just want to do a quick review of uh, the nature of this question. And the nature of this question is we are trying to find the percent of a number and uh, this particular number is over 100%, and that tends to confuse people. And of course, we are dealing with a fraction. So let's go ahead and practice real quick how to find um, the decimal equivalent of various percents. I'll just use uh, these two examples real quick. So if I have 75%, what is the decimal equivalent of 75%? Okay, well, hopefully you said it's 0.75 and you would be correct. Now, how do we do that? Well, the way we go from 75.0% to a decimal is we divide it by 100, but effectively that's the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left, so that's 0.75. Okay, so how about 4%? What is that um, as a uh, decimal? Well, the correct answer is 0.04. Okay, so again, we have 4.0%. We're going to divide 4.0% or 4 by 100, but the effect of doing that is simply moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So that's going to be 0 0.04 right here. There is that placeholder is a zero. So 4% is equal to 0.04%. So what about 200%? Well, we're just going to follow the same rules here. 200% is two, okay, as a decimal. 
So what's going on here? Well, let's just kind of review. So we have 200.0%. So right here, it may not be clear where the decimal point's at. If you don't know where the decimal point's at, it's always at the end of the number. So to change this to a decimal, we're going to divide 200% by 100. 200 divided by 100 is 2. Or we could think of this as, and I'm going to get my zero back here, as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So it is 2. Okay, so 200% as a decimal is 2.0, or as a number is 2. So now this problem is super easy, assuming you understand how to work with fractions. So 200%. As a number or a decimal is 2, so the question now is 2 times 1 third. So how do we multiply fractions? Very easy. All we need to do is write this fraction or write this, write this number as a fraction. So we'll put that over 1. So 2 over 1 times 1 third or 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds. Okay, so hopefully you're like, yes, indeed, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is pretty easy. And indeed, it is. Now, what's the whole value of doing quick mental calculations? Well, I think there's a lot of value uh, in kind of practicing this stuff. Um, first of all, there's going to be times where, you know, your calculator is far away, or maybe you don't even have a calculator or any material to kind of check something, or maybe you just want to quickly estimate something and see if something makes sense. So you just want to do these uh, calculations quickly in your head. We're not talking about a lot of different steps, just some basic steps. But uh, if you don't practice uh, this, it's kind of like a muscle that you're not going to kind of uh, uh, be able to strengthen. And you know, you just never know when you um, you know might want to do some quick mental calculations on the fly. It definitely comes in more handy than most of us probably think. So let's take a look at another way we could have done this problem. But first, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your support to grow my channel as large as I can. And my objective is to reach as many students as I can. Everybody everybody that watches my video, or you included, you know, have, obviously has some interest or need um, in learning mathematics, okay? And I wanna be able to share with as many people all the decades of my experience, I just don't want to, you know, kind of be able to just contain that in one classroom. Although I love working directly with students, I want to be able to share this with as many people as I can possibly help. But I can't do that unless I get people like yourself to subscribe. And every subscriber I look at as a new student, although I have like 515,000 subscribers and I don't know, some crazy amount of views, 60 million views or plus, I've stopped counting because I've been on YouTube for such a long time. It doesn't make a difference. Every single person is important to me. So this is my mission on my channel and I need your help. So hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, uh, you might as well hit that notification button as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's take a look at another problem, another way, excuse me, we could have uh, uh, done this problem. And there's other ways you could have done this as well. So if I don't kind of review your particular way, as long as you got this right, that is fantastic. And that's the great thing about doing mental math calculations because, you know, it's really kind of your own individual creative process, okay, as long as you're doing the math correctly. So 200% of one third, how could we have uh, thought about this? Well, we may have said to our, in our brain, like, all right, 200%. First of all, let me just think about 100%. So what's 100% of one-third? If 100% is all of a one-third, so how much is all of one-third? Well, it's one-third, right? 100% of one-third is a one-third, okay? So what's 200% of one-third? Well, if 100% of one-third is one third, okay, it's a lot of, you know, you gotta have to follow me here, it's a little bit of a tongue twister. So 100% of one third is one third. Well, 200%, okay, is just doubling that 100%. So if we double the 100%, that of course is 200, but if we already know that 100% of one third is one third, well, if we double the answer for 100%, that's just doubling the one third, or two times one third, of course, is two thirds. Or if we know 100%, uh, let's kind of look at it this way. 100% is of one third. 100% is one third, and I want 200%. Well, I can just uh, in my brain be like, all right, 100% and 100%. That's one third and one third. Add these two together. One third and one third is two thirds. So there's all different sorts of ways you could have con uh, come to the conclusion that the answer is two thirds. Even if you're like, all right, I'm going to take this and you know uh, take two and I, I add the uh, one third here. 
you know, maybe some of you attempted to convert this to a decimal, but I doubt uh, uh, most of you did that. You know, you probably said, yes, I'm going to work in fractions. But uh, hopefully this was a successful little mental exercise for you. Now, if this problem is just kind of reminding you of all the math that you forgot, you know, maybe you've been out of school for many, many years. You're like, boy, I used to be so good at this stuff. And you probably were outstanding. And maybe you want to relearn mathematics to include basic arithmetic, percent, etc. I have a fantastic new course. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find a link to it in the description. But in that course, and um, a lot of people are taking advantage of it because I kind of um, kind of identified over uh, a long period of time what a lot of the people that follow me, you know, what their interest is. And a lot of them are, you kind of want to review math, kind of rebuild their math skills. That's why I call this Math Skills Rebuilder. But if you're going to rebuild your math skills from the bottom up, you got to start with the foundation. So I review arithmetic to include fractions, percent, place value, because this is, this, this is stuff that all of us will forget. I mean, I learned that stuff way back in the good old 1970s. So if you don't review it, you're going to, you know, not remember it, right? So I start with basic arithmetic, and then I get into a ton of algebra a ton of geometry, some basic trigonometry, and, and even some probability and stati uh, statistics. It is a self-paced course, and this is a ton of mathematics. So if you want to rebuild your math uh, skills, starting from the very, very basics, or maybe learn math um, for the first time, because maybe you just weren't satisfied with your initial education you know, experience way back, whenever that might have been, and you want to just prove something to yourself, well, this is a, a great course for you. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.